Prior to 2014, I was an astrophysicist. I was building big radio telescopes at CSIRO. And then I decided to really you know, take a jump and, and do something in the medical physics space. The Incubator are a very, not just supportive mentoring program of the company, but they're intimately involved on a daily basis. So before starting a program, I wasn't a businessman. After I finished the program, I started learning the language. You know, the science side of things was fairly well demonstrated and it just needed to get that extra push to get us out the door in the market and that's what this program really helped us achieve. So coming into a course like this allowed me to really get up to speed and understand everything right through from having an idea, nurturing the idea, and then also taking it to the next level and trying to get other people to love your idea and help you commercialise it. I always wanted to be able to understand the business language and get the skills that I wanted to be able to essentially commercialise what I was so passionate about as a part of my PhD. A lot of it was just getting out of the door and talking to as many people as we could about the technology, about what they do, their pains and what kind of gains they wanted to get out of it. I learned a lot about customer discovery, which is where you're putting yourself out there out of your comfort zone and talking to customers and understanding exactly what your product can do for them, so solving their needs or their pains. They described things like regulatory, intellectual property and commercial development. They talked about customers and asking doctors what they think. And up until that point, it was my opinion that if I build something brilliantly enough, <laughs> it's good enough, right? But apparently it's not good enough. You need investment. The reality is without it, you can't get onto the market. In total, I raised 2.4 million from uh, private investors to angel investors and recently in the past six months up to one million dollars from New South Wales Health and from a federal government. With the help of private investors and also public grants we we're able to test our product for first time in human just recently uh, which is very outstanding for a class 3 medical device to have a first in man test 18 months after incorporation. We got the $1.3 million in the Medical Devices Fund and that's going to go towards expanding our team, keeping manufacturing here in Australia, launching in Australia, as well as launching internationally in America, as well as in Europe as well. The two major milestones we've achieved was the awarding of a $2.58 million New South Wales Medical Devices Fund grant and the installation and commissioning of our full-scale prototype at the Nell Yoon Comprehensive Cancer Care Centre. To be able to do that, you definitely need to understand the business. You need to have that entrepreneurial way of thinking at the same time and get out there and talk with the clinicians, talk with your customers, talk with the patients to see what, what's the problem out there that you are solving. Without going through that program, we would have such a smaller understanding of the market, of our customers and of what our technology needed to be to fit to that market. The program has really allowed me to become part of a biotech environment and hub. So talking to all these other companies that are going through the same thing and making friends in the same space has, has changed everything for me really. 